In my last video, I did a humble brag about how I strive to be a great teacher. Today, I'm going to balance that by telling you how I sometimes get in the way of my own teaching. Uh, now, sometimes you have a situation where you want a student to learn something, and the way you do it is you get in the way of their strengths. So they have to engage in new ways of thinking to solve the problem. If your student is a good ear player, uh, it is helpful sometimes to force them to read and not use their ears solely so that they will develop those reading skills. Uh, if you don't do that, they will always rely on their ears. Um, and I'm pretty proud of my approach in that way. Uh, I do have a way of, of teaching the students where I ask them to adhere to my method and them getting through that method is the learning process and it works pretty well. But I can be in love with my method and sometimes it's better to let the students' strengths get them around the obstacle. Uh, I had this one student that simply wasn't able to do what I asked them to do and we were patient and we waited and we waited and finally one day I just said, I bet it'd be easier if I just showed them how to do it. And lo and behold, when they saw me do it and were able to copy me, they could do it. Uh, so in that moment, I realized that my teaching was the focus and not the student. So should I do every student that way? Should I simply show all my students what I want them to do? No, because if the student can learn the other way, if they can make the effort and learn the other way, they're going to have a gain. They're going to gain from that. So if the constraint, the thing that's getting in the way of the learning is small enough and the student overcomes it, something powerful happens. But if the constraint is too big, all you end up with is frustration. So in that case, there's the opportunity to let the student use their strengths to go around the constraint. However, after the student has had that success, you can try the constraint again at the next level. Okay, this piece was too hard for the student, so I showed them how to do it. This same problem is going to happen the next time. And maybe because they've had that experience over there where they succeeded, this time they'll succeed without the help. These are just various strategies to try, and uh, I hope you got something from this. If you have an opinion for me, please put it in the comments and let's have a conversation. Happy teaching.